Hi everybody, um, I'd like to show you these. These are no sew flowers. Um, I'm not very good with a needle and thread, so I thought I'd, I'd have a go at making them without and, and show you how, how I've put them together. Um, I mean, this one started life as this trim. And these ones with the sparkles started out as this kind of trim. Um, so I, I so I just like to to show you how I've how I've put them together. So first of all, you're going to need some wire. Now I have this which is florist's wire um, this whole bunch, I mean I've used a lot of it but the whole bunch I bought it by the kilo from occasionally yours and I think it was just over four pounds and that's going to last me forever um, so I use that but you can use a thicker wire which is like a like a galvanised garden wire but I find that the florist wire is better because it's it's more pliable and you can fiddle about with the flowers when you've done them so I'll take a piece of wire and a bead and I'll just thread the bead onto the end of the wire and hook the wire over just to basically to stop me pulling the the wire through the trim when I'm making the flower um, and then I'll take a length of trim. I mean, any length, obviously, the longer the length, the tighter the flower ends up. Um, and then basically, just feed the wire in and out, as you would a, a needle and thread, just feed the wire in and out of the in and out of the trim and then you keep going obviously until all the trim is fed onto the wire pushing it down every now and again just to to keep it out the way so I shall keep going with this So when you get to the end of the piece of trim that you're using, if you just go back along the wire and try and make sure that the thread end, they're all together, so it's not twisted. So. I've pushed all those together. Now I take this end of the wire and take hold of the bead and thread this end back through the bead. And then taking my pliers, I just pull, I hold that, I just pull the flower into shape. Now if you want a looser flower, you can use something either your, I mean, you can use your finger, you can push your finger up through the middle, or you can use something. I've got a, if I can get hold of it, I've got a sharpie, and I'll just push that through the middle and I'll pull against the sharpie so that I've got a gap in the center of the flower. If you want the flower even looser, you can use something larger, but I find that the sharpie gives a a reasonable centre or you can just pull the flower in tight and the good thing about the wire is that you can move it around and manipulate it until you get the shape of flower that you're after 
and then so I've pulled that in I'll lift that over and take the bead off take my pliers and just twist and put quite quite a few twists on because you obviously you want it to stay together and then you're left with something like this as I say because it's wire you can flatten it you can you can scrunch it up you can manipulate it in, you know to, to how you want it to look so then you're left with a stem now you can either leave this on depending on, on what you're doing and you can join others together so you can have a, a, a bunch of flowers or you can just find your twisted end take your snips make sure that you leave enough of the twist on to keep it together snip off the wire and then just fold it back in against the flower and that should keep everything all nicely together as I say and then you can just play around with it until you've got the the shape that you like and then you see you can take you know your flower centers or beads or anything you like to to finish it off so I've, I've done some little odd ones while I've been playing that's two put together with a loop on um, this one is actually three but I wanted a more uniform finish on this so I, I spent a lot longer and actually did even spacing with the the wire so pushing it through and bringing it back through in exactly the same place on each section of the trim so that's three put together to make quite a bulky flower um, this one again a, a bit more uniform but this, this looks like a like a rough like a uh, Elizabethan rough but that again it's, it's very very uniform um, this one was a bit more shabby so I didn't bother too much just pushed the wire through and brought it back so it gave it a, a bit more of a shabby look um, and that's it really as I say I've, I've been doing quite a few and just playing with them and using different trims and trying to do different things with them but I just find with the wire you, as I say you can mess about with them a bit more as I say and stick them together and so that's it that's my no so flower um, this wasn't very successful this was like a gimp trim I think it would be nice if it was done as a as a center if you wanted to use it as a center because it gives quite a a scruffy little loop finish and in much in the same way I made a, a beaded ring that you could use to put in the center of flower and put a, another big bead in the middle or so that's a, a no-sew flower. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.